my best friend sprays Carolina Herrero's good girl on his ball sack. That's really weird. Today I was going to do a buying every Chanel fragrance out there so you guys don't have to do like a sort of buying guide for Chanel. But I'm starting to realize the uh, Chanel price tags are starting to become more Chanel-like each and every day. They were more expensive than I anticipated, so hopefully we'll do that video. If this video gets, let's say, over 2,000 likes, go on guys, give this video a like, and if it gets over 2,000, then uh, I will do that guide to show that you guys want that video to happen. So I buy every single Chanel fragrance out there for men, that's non-private line, and let you know what, my, what I think about each and every single one of them. So instead today, I thought we'd do a fun video idea, something a bit more light-hearted, where I dedicate this entire video to you guys, the fragrance community, to give you an opportunity to give any tips, recommendations, reviews of any fragrances that you like to everyone else. We have about 100,000 people um, subscribed to this channel. If you include Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, you average them all out. Uh, we have a large community, so I thought it'd be cool to give you guys a voice, a platform to Say what's on your mind, really get it off your chest. So I asked you guys for your inputs and these are your submissions. Turk El Magnifico wants to say to everyone that we need to stop it with the mainstream perfumes, Eros Sauvage, Blue, uh, Blue de Chanel, etc. Try new ones. That's such a good point. I feel that the fragrance community is stuck in 2016. <laughs> and I think it's time to move on from a lot of fragrances that actually have been surpassed by lots of different releases now at this point. I feel that actually fragrances are going more from designer to more niche. They are the brands like Dior, Chanel, like look at Chanel, they haven't released a designer fragrance in a long time, but what are they focusing on? Their private line. People want higher quality. Uh, the standards are going up in general in the industry. Price does not equal quality. Some of my favorite fragrances are cheapies. That is very much true. What are you spending your money on when you buy a fragrance? You're spending it on the shop they're being displayed at, so a more fancy shop means a higher price tag. You're spending it on really fancy packaging sometimes, on celebrity marketing. It does not always correlate to the quality of the juice. Nice perfume doesn't mean you don't shower. That's a great thing about doing videos on YouTube, guys. You guys can't tell how many years I haven't showered for. Dylan Blue is the best blue fragrance. It's cheap and works in all four seasons. Well, if you guys watched our public reaction video, uh, Dylan Blue got smoked decidedly, uh, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> At the end of the day, just wear whatever you enjoy. Let's not overcomplicate things. Fragrance is important, but it does nothing for us. What matters is our personality. I half agree with it. I think it does have an effect, but yes, some people, some guys put way too much importance on their fragrance and forget, you know, it's, 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 it's one detail in a, a bigger picture. Um, so yeah, of course, your personality is very important. Your fragrance is not going to matter if you're a terrible human being. <laughs> Try to keep it simple. Take School of Sense advice on five situation fragrances and you'll be perfect. I know this sack does indeed know best because he's definitely watched our Skillshare course where I talk exactly about this, about the five different types of fragrances that are out there and give you an introduction to some of the best to choose from. So definitely check out our Skillshare course if you haven't uh, already, guys. I'll leave a link in the description below. The most hated fragrances by the community are compliment gods. Example, Sauvage. Yeah, it's probably true. Even still to this day, a lot of Girls who are just lay people will love fragrances like Paco Rabanne's One Million, Sauvage will get a lot of compliments. Even, you know, Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal is still extremely sexy. You know, some things are uh, gonna work for most people, but uh, who cares, <laughs> in my opinion? Um, yeah, anything that smells nice is likely to get you a compliment, especially if you're just a, 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 an approachable individual. Um, so I think still, just kind of ignore the mainstream. If you're really into fragrances, explore the art and really get something that makes you passionate about the way you smell. If it's Sauvage, if it's the mainstream stuff, then fine, carry on as you are. Just because you see the notes you like on Fragrantica doesn't mean you will like the fragrance. That is facts. That is so true. One fragrance that caused me to have this effect. Yes, this was Ganymede by Marc-Antoine Barreau, which got a lot of hype and won lots of fragrance awards. 
looking at the fragrance, I thought it was going to be right up my alley. I thought it was going to be very much metallic, marine, very masculine and sexy. It's a nice fragrance, but it's very mature. So I was very surprised. You can't always just tell. You can't, basically, it doesn't really matter what you see on the note breakdown because fragrances have lots of ingredients that aren't going to be listed as notes. So you got to smell things. Um, another thing that surprised me was um, Zerjov's 40 Knots. Looking at that note breakdown, I wasn't expecting it to be so ambery and so similar to Ombre Nuit by Dior. If you look at those two different bro note breakdowns, you'll see, you know, you won't expect them to be so similar straight away just by looking at those notes. Expensive doesn't always mean longevity, projection or sillage. Yes, by Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford and you'll see <laughs> that is very much true. I already want to share this. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense is overrated. That's cat. In my opinion, guys should really start experimenting with fashion and stop dressing like an NPC. Wow, I feel like I've been called out for this comment. Uh, <laughs> that's why you guys should check out our video about uh, wearing easy outfits to wear with popular fragrances that I did a while ago that might help you out. Um, but yeah, it's definitely true. There's no point smelling phenomenal and in dressing like a slob. It does, it's a mismatch there. Decants can replace a collection of unused bottles. That's facts. There's no point buying full bottles if they're just gonna gather dust. Get decants, which you'll probably enjoy a lot more. You might not get the full packaging, but then you can experiment and see which samples you really love and then only get full bottles of those fragrances that you are actually gonna wear. Test the fragrance by yourself. Do not believe all reviews on the internet. That is so true. Fragrance reviewers are just one opinion. <laughs> I'm not, but like I always try to keep my videos objective. Even if I don't like a fragrance's style, I'll appreciate if it's very good perfumery, but don't just take my opinion, read other reviews. If you blind buy, that's on you. <laughs> um, but fragrance reviewers aren't, these like scent gods who have like the ultimate noses, they're just giving you their opinions and they're just trying things out for you on your behalf to, to help aid you, supplement your knowledge, not necessarily give you all the knowledge on a purchase. This is not really a tip, but if someone's asking me a question, name your five favorite fragrance YouTubers besides Curly, presumably Curly Fragrance. So number one, Curly Fragrance. Number two, probably Jude de Rose. Three is Bo uh, Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Aaron Terrence Hughes and then probably curly scents, I would say. Shrek EDT is the only scent you need. I did not realize this existed. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that is incredible. Shrek the third, Shrek for boys. <laughs> so I don't know why it can't be for men. I think a man could rock this. 75 mils, wow. It's on Walmart. How much does it cost? 24 USD on Walmart. I think that's a bargain. And they also have a Fiona female Shrek perfume. <laughs> Princess Fiona. It doesn't say if it's for girls, but it might be unisex, I don't know. If you use Sauvage, no one likes you. Fair. Quality over quantity. Yeah, well, what I said before, I've said it in previous videos as well. I was actually, I suggested people to actually just give away or sell their fragrances that they don't use. Don't just have them collecting dust for no reason. Like, focus, <laughs> don't overbuy. That's what I did, just do not overpurchase. Get samples instead. Sometimes clones can be better than the OG fragrance. Yes, that's what the video, one of the most popular videos on the channel is fragrances to not buy as their clones are superior. That's definitely true. Um, like some, some, some brands are overcharging, that's what I'm gonna say. Donate to Pakistan, yeah, big up Bilal. Um, if you guys don't know about Pakistan, they have had massive flooding and have had, I think, 50 million people displaced, which is just like, if you, you can't even imagine how many people have been affected. I'll leave a link in the description down below to help you guys donate to Pakistan if you'd like to. And then as I was reading these suggestions, I thought they were a bit tame. I wanted some dark, dirty secrets. So I did another story post where I said, share your secrets anonymously. Um, they, the answers still ended up being quite tame anyway, but there's some interesting answers, so let's have a look at them. I quite like Paco Rabanne's Phantom, that's a little uh, robot. It's a guilty pleasure for me, and I don't usually like sweet fragrances. Fair enough, you enjoy it, bro, but I hated that fragrance personally. I love your bald head. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> My best friend sprays Carolina Herrera's Good Girl on his ball sack. That's really weird. There's, there's a lot going on here to, de to deconstruct. But I, what I'm wondering is why would you spray a female perfume on your ball sack? Because wouldn't the girl just then think, 
another girl was, was just there or she might just also just think why has this guy sprayed women's perfume on his nutsack that's also what she'll probably think two girls on two separate occasions have both asked me to spray eros on before sex right before sex so they want the opening of eros right in as they as things are getting heated so they probably just want that that apple the green apple opening note is very sexy everyone knows <laughs> apple is an aphrodisiac guys that's definitely true yeah yeah I only buy fragrances that are highly rated on Fragrantica. Honestly, same. Um, if I was just buying fragrances only for myself, not for the channel, I'd just go for stuff that's like 4.4 and above. That's probably why our video where I review the highest rated fragrances on Fragrantica uh, went so well. Because we have so much choice as modern day consumers, you want the best stuff and Fragrantica is a great tool because of that. So you know what's the highest rated. I really like Aventus Cologne. It's a nice scent, in fairness. It's a very nice scent, but just the price tag and the performance just makes it not worth it. I kind of feel like if you're gonna buy Aventus Cologne, you might as well buy Aventus. But I would say Aventus Cologne is more smooth. What do you guys think in the comments down below? Let us know. Sauvage is actually a timeless classic masterpiece, and if you want to get girls, it works. It's probably true. But again, it's not gonna just be only Sauvage. The kind of guys who wear Sauvage are probably <laughs> regular guys who, um, are probably F boys and they're probably just very attractive anyways. Let's, let's, let's face it, it's probably just like, yeah, like classic F boy is gonna wear Sauvage. So they're probably getting girls anyways before it. I killed a man for wearing Dior Sauvage. Okay, moving on. For legal reasons, I didn't. Ah, okay, never mind. Don't trust blindly fragrance reviewers, try and buy. I completely agree. When people compliment me on my cologne, I get turned on, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, that's really weird because what if someone like your grandma compliments you for your fragrance. I'm getting Alabama vibes from this comment, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay guys, thank you for watching. What did you guys think of this video? I thought um, it would be something a bit more lighthearted and fun. Do you feel that you really got to learn more about this community? Is there anything else you guys would wanna to share to everyone else in the comments down below? Let's just sort of have like a journaling sesh where you guys just let it all out in the comments down below. Uh, and let the community know what's on your mind. What fragrances do you love the most? What are your dark secrets that you want to share on the web? And um, what tips and recommendations do you have for guys in general? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our Maison Margiela fragrance buying guide. If you like that enough, we'll do a Chanel fragrance buying guide. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.